Did, dude, that sucks. He's a cool guy. No, he is, but playing against Plant is tough because nobody knows the Plant matchup. Listen, I went into that matchup thinking, you know, I'm feeling good today. I'm going to bring out the Fox. I don't care what happens. There you go. You know, th game three, got cheese. Ooh. What do you expect? So, hey, oh, it I happens with us first. I don't even know why people go to this matchup, to be honest with you. This matchup is really funny. Uh, but most characters match up against Kazuya specifically is really funny. Oh, and we are off to the races. Balto starts off. I like off. that part where he can't jab in this matchup. Ah, I love that part. It's I don't know whose idea that was. Like, if Kazuya didn't have Tough Guy, this matchup would feel so much more difficult. Though. Yeah, I'd agree with that. You know, it's, it's Moku. Yeah, no, I don't Pretty think good. that... Like, I would not say that Balto is the favorite here. No offense to Balto, but Moku is nuts. Regrab on the platform. Another regrab. Empty up. And oh, he was inches away. Oh. Yep. Yeah, there you go. With the back air and close that out that first stop. Really Balto. good. The really good foxes, you watch them, they actually play a lot slower than you think. Yeah. You know, I mean, they're dashing around the screen, but they're making defensive choices. The thing about Moku that makes him fun to commentate, but also really awful to play against, is that he always feels like he knows where his opponent is going. But doesn't matter sometimes. You can meet him there, and he's happy to see you. I've noticed it helps to know where your opponent's going. That's yeah. one thing I've learned. That's why I'm convinced that Moku is cheating. But, man, not quite able to close that one out. But no... Oh, yeah. If he landed the narrow, it would have been in. Oh, 160, finally closing that stock up. Oh, good uh, little combo starter right there from Moku. I've never seen back air as a combo starter for Fox. Oh, it's sick. really good combo starter, especially at low percents. Your nair is not going to lead into much at that low percent. Oh. At least at zero. You want, uh, you want something a bit hardier. Yeah. It's pretty good. So... Right now, we're on last stock. I feel like everybody is fully aware that this game is functionally even. Kazuya, not a lot of good combo starters. <laughs> he doesn't... Uh... Oh my god, why does that knock you out of your shield? The good thing about Kazuya, and this is something I really like about him, in neutral, you really see the neurons firing <laughs> for the Kazuya player. Oh yeah. He's thinking a lot he's about He's a cerebral he's player. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Gets the up smash, but on, uh, I why was that close? <laughs> I really like the phrase chewing on his controller, uh, which is what people say when they are watching somebody play Kazuya. And to be honest, he was tearing it up. I get it, but like, no disrespect to Balto as a player. Like, he, you know, he he's good. He's just, he, he chews his food. Yeah. We all have the same character select screen. You see, I mean, I, Kazuya. Mishima. I've been thinking a lot. In, you know, really, the cool thing about Kazuya is... Three, two, one, go! No, that's a good point. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Oh, doesn't quite get that, uh, you know, combo finish right there, but a very swift 57%. And Moku right now has him in jail. That was this six dash attacks in one string. He couldn't get out. I'm telling you, Moku knows where his opponent is going to be, but it doesn't matter because you got hit by a, a dragon punch at like 60. So. I love everything that just happened. A little bit of jab action right there. Moku uses his 70th dash attack. It's a good move. Highly recommend. Ooh, man, that just nice. barely gets that. It looks even more cheater when it, they go off stage and they oh, drop yeah. down. Yeah. Oh, gets another dash attack. Oh, you will never believe what move he just did. Oh, well, you know. God, he's just so they nice. They can't stop the run up the middle. Oh, my God. Keep pounding him. Moku is definitely pounding. <laughs> oh, my God. He is, that was dirty. I'm telling you, everything works when you know where your opponent's going to be. Yeah. Oh, whisk that dash attack the cool, right there. The cool thing about Fox is he just messes you up. 
but... And he also uh, gets messed up. Yeah. Command grab. Dead. Nope. Oh, Miss. A couple of up tilts right there. A little bit of down air. 82%. 88. Oh, yeah. Oh, and gets the dragon punch. I mean... I don't know what it was. I'll be, I'll be honest. Oh, okay. but... There you go. I mean... I think that Moku probably hit Balto 170 times during that game, and I think Balto might have hit Moku eight times, but it was close enough. In all seriousness, the cool thing about Kazuya is watching him uh, make games very, very close. Kazuya is never out of press. it. He's never. And he's never out of it. Really, your opponent is never out of it because you know that, like, if you can just like stay away from him, you'll be fine. Oh, yeah. As a player, I'm like, oh, I'm 